surprise the whole squad. Very dangerous to lead a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Let's it fly from 18. Good, he hits the jump. Nice kick out after the D had collapsed on him. Here's Becker. And good on the basket. Book it. <laughs> well, Mary and when you've got a player like him who can shoot that efficiently on the perimeter, it gives you a remarkably dependable option every time down the floor. Boy, does it ever. I mean, he's a marksman from here on the court. I tell you, that's asking an awful lot of one guy. Here's Freak. After Gordon Hayward's bucket, Becker finds the bottom of the bucket from 30 feet out. NATO, and it's blocked. Celtics have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Becker. Scores the bucket. Seven for a... The Celtics need to get a shot off. They blow the whistle just as he gets it. That's two points. And a wide open look for free. Nailed from Freeland. Celtics have gone two of four here to start the second half. Now here's Freak. Defense right on him. And he gets it to go. Freak's got... Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. And I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will start shrinking even further. This is why. Dishes it to Freak. Somehow ignores the tie and gets the way up. Day, really just giving his team a nice lift. Yeah, and he's kept them close enough to be within striking range. I mean, the deficit would be much larger if not for the efficiency his play. Gordon Hayward. Now, Freak. And that one's good. The Celtics lead. Game as close as it's been. You really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. And that one's good. It's just hard. from downtown here in the fourth quarter. No one covered. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And that's really the in our game. He kicks to exit. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. 